Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will find the probability of the union of mutually exclusive events. But first, let us have a review on the probability of simple events. In a bag, there are 6 red balls, 5 green balls, and 4 blue balls. What is the probability of getting a green ball? So the probability of an event is determined by the number of green balls all over the total number of balls inside the bag. So that is equal to 5 all over 15, or simply 1 thirds. A box contains 25 cards numbered 1 to 25. Find the probability that the card drawn is a multiple of 4. So the probability of this event is equal to the number of cards with numbers multiples of 4 all over the total number of cards. Let us first identify the, number, the numbers which are multiples of 4 from numbers 1 to 25. They are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. Therefore, the total number of cards with multiples of 4 is equal to 6 all over 25. That is 6 all over 25. When a die is rolled, find the complement of getting less than 3. Using the concept of probability, the events that the result is less than 3 are the elements or are the numbers 2 and 1, while the, total possible, while the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Therefore, the event is equal to 2 over 6 or simply 1 third. Now, since we are asked on the complement of getting less than 3, and the complement of an event is equal to 1 minus the probability of an event, therefore, that is equal to 1 minus 1 third, which is equal to 2 thirds. Let us now discuss the probability of the union of mutually exclusive events. Two events that have no common outcome are said to be mutually exclusive. Picking an ace or a king from a regular deck of cards are mutually exclusive because a card cannot be both an ace or a king. If event A and event B are mutually exclusive events, then the probability of event A or B is equal to probability of A union B, which is the same as the probability of A plus the probability of B. What is the probability of drawing a queen or a jack on an ordinary deck of cards? The probability of drawing a queen is equal to 4 all over 52 because there are 4 queens and there, are a to there is a total of 52 cards in a regular deck of cards, which is equal to 1 over 13. The probability of getting a jack is equal to 4 all over 52 or simply 1 over 13. Since they are mutually exclusive events, 
the probability of getting a queen or a jack is equal to 1 over 13 plus 1 over 13, which is equal to 2 all over 13. A bag contains 4 white balls, 2 green balls, and 6 red balls. What is the probability that it is a red or a green? Let us try so first to identify the probability of picking a red. That is equal to 6 all over 12 since we have 6 red balls and we have a total of 12 balls inside the bag. While the probability of picking a green is equal to 2 all over 12 since we have 2 green balls inside the bag. Therefore, the probability of picking a red or green is equal to 6 all over 12 plus 2 all over 12 which is equal to 8 over 12 or simply 2 thirds. Three coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting three heads or three tails? Let us first identify the probability of getting three heads. The probability of getting three heads is equal to 1 all over 8. Since there is only one possible outcome of getting three heads and there are eight possible results in tossing three coins. The probability of getting three tails is also equal to 1 all over 8. Therefore, the, prob the probability of getting three heads or getting three tails in tossing three coins is equal to 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, which is equal to 2 over 8 or simply 1 fourth. A pair of dice is rolled. What is the probability of getting a sum of 7 or 11? Let us first identify the possible combinations in getting a sum of 7. These are 1, 6, 6, 1, 2, 5, 5, 2, 3, 4, and 4, 3. While the possible combinations in getting the sum of 11 are 5, 6, and 6, 5. The total possible outcomes may be computed by 6 times 6 following the concept of counting principles because there are 6 places in a die and 2 die are rolled, 2 dice are rolled, therefore we have 6 times 6 which is equal to 36. Solving for the probability of getting a 7 that is equal to 6 all over 36 and the probability of getting an 11 is equal to 2 over 36. Therefore, the probability of getting a sum of 7 or 11 is equal to 6 over 36 plus 2 over 36 which is equal to 8 over 36 or simply 2 over 9. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. Two events that have no common outcome are said to be mutually exclusive. If A and B are mutually exclusive events, then the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of the union of A and B which is also equal to the, prob the probability of event A plus the probability of event B. Let us now check your knowledge. Try to solve the following items on your own. Do not forget to pause the video while you are doing this activity.
What is the probability of drawing a spade or a diamond on an ordinary deck of cards? The probability of getting a spade is equal to 13 over 52, simply because there are 13 spade cards in a deck of cards, which is equal to 1 fourth. While the probability of getting a diamond is also equal to 13 over 52, which is also equal to 1 fourth. Therefore, the probability of getting a spade or a diamond is equal to 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, which is equal to 2 fourths or simply 1 half. A bag contains 3 white balls, 4 green balls, and 5 red balls. What is the probability that it is a white or red? The probability of picking a white ball is equal to 3 over 12 since there are 3 white balls and there is a total of 12 balls inside the bag. While the probability of picking a red ball is equal to 5 all over 12 since there are 5 red balls inside the bag. Therefore, the probability of picking a white or red ball is equal to 3 over 12 plus 5 over 12 or simply 8 over 12, which is also equal to two-thirds. Three coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting one head or one tail? Let us first identify all the possible results in getting one head. The possible results are head, tail, tail, tail head tail and tail tail head. Therefore, there are a total of three possible outcomes in getting one head. We may say that the probability of getting one head is equal to 3 all over 8 since there are a total of 8 possible outcomes. Let us now identify all possible outcomes given one tail These are head head tail, head tail head, and tail head head. There are or there is a total of three possible outcomes in getting one tail, which may be represented by three all over eight. Therefore, the probability of getting one head or one tail is given by three over eight plus three over eight or simply six over eight which is equal to 3 fourths. A pair of dice is rolled. What is the probability of getting a sum of 3 or 5? Let us first identify all possible combinations whose sum is 3. These are 1, 2, and 2, 1. Let us now list all possible combinations whose sum is 5. These are 1, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 2. The total possible outcomes following the basic counting principles, we have 6 times 6 because each die has 6 faces and we have 2 dice, so we will have 36. In all, the probability of getting a sum of 3 is equal to 2 over 36, while the probability of getting a sum of 5 is equal to 4 over 36. Therefore, the probability of getting a 3 or 5 is equal to 2 over 36 plus 4 over 36, which is equal to 6 over 36 or simply 1 over 6. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.